My child, hear my voice calling out to you. Though storms may rage around you, I am the calm within. When shadows close in, I am the light that scatters them. You are not alone, so do not lose hope. I know the sorrows that weigh on your spirit. I see the dreams deferred, the potential unfulfilled. The world may tell you that your moment has passed and your best days are behind you, but do not listen. I am the God who makes all things new. The same power that raised Christ from the dead dwells within you. You can begin again today. Where you see limitation, I see possibility. What others dismiss as not good enough, I call beloved. Your mistakes do not define you. Your struggles do not disqualify you. I have always used imperfect vessels to accomplish my perfect will. I choose the things the world considers foolish and weak to shame the wise and strong. You are no exception. Within your heart I have planted vision and purpose. Fan these sparks into flame. No one can extinguish the light I have kindled within you. No earthly force can stop what I have ordained for your life. The trials you have endured have prepared you for this moment. Let go of regret over wasted years. I will yet restore what seems irretrievable, beauty for ashes. Do not believe the enemy's lies that it is too late. As long as there is breath in your lungs, it is never too late for transformation. This is not the end of your story, but merely the turning of a page. Trust in my timing, though it often seems slow. I am working always in ways you cannot yet see, setting the stage for miracles. There will be giants to face on the road ahead, but I have given you authority to conquer them. The battle belongs to me. Fix your eyes on me, not the raging seas around you. I will lead you one step at a time through stormy waters to streams of living water. Food for the journey will appear as manna along the way. Do not worry about provision. My word over you stands forever settled. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow you. What I have spoken, I am able to perform. My promises are yes and amen. I bless you to be a blessing, a tree planted by living waters whose leaf does not wither. Dig your roots down deep into my steadfast love. Build on the unshakable foundation of who I say you are. You are the apple of my eye, the joy of my heart, carved in the palms of my hands. You are loved with an everlasting love. The world will mock you, but I applaud your courage to believe for more, to take the road less traveled. Expand your capacity to receive all I have in store. You were made for more than mediocrity and petty goals. I will do immeasurably more than you ask or imagine, more than you have dreamed. Your journey with me leads to wonders wild and free. This is your invitation to abundant life. Do not settle for scraps when I have prepared a feast. Say yes to the glorious adventure I invite you to. The choice is yours but I hope you will join me where mountaintops touch endless skies of possibility, where lions and lambs walk together unafraid. I am making all things new. Let me make you new too. The world will take notice as old things pass away and new life begins. The years the locusts have eaten will be restored. Beauty will rise from ashes. Laughter will echo in the halls that once held only weeping Blessing after blessing will overtake you, wave upon wave. Each morning will hold expectancy of encounter with my glory. The trials that now seem endless will fade in light of my presence. You will be a testimony of my redeeming love. I move through yielded, ordinary lives in extraordinary ways, just as I did in Mary's life when I took on flesh within her womb. She surrendered impossibility to me and did not dismiss the prophetic promises spoken over her. I invite you to do the same. Agree with my word about you. Align your expectation with my will. Miracles will surely follow. The journey will not always be easy, but I will be with you in joy and in sorrow. We will celebrate every breakthrough and mourn every loss together. I will never leave you or forsake you. My strength is made perfect in your weakness. When you grow weary, lean harder into me. 
I am your shelter from the storms of life and your sanctuary of peace. Come to the water's edge with hopeful expectation. Do not focus on how far the horizon seems. Take courage and cast your net once more. Your provision is not determined by what others bestow or withhold, but by the great I Am who spoke the stars into being. I own the cattle on a thousand hills. Scarcity and lack are foreign concepts. In my economy of abundance, ask largely of me, agree with me for the seemingly impossible, and watch heaven move on your behalf. Refuse to settle for less than my highest will for your life. No matter what anyone else has accepted for their own, you were created in my very image for glory and honor. Therefore set your aim higher, your vision wider. The boundaries and limitations that hem others in don't apply to you. Be bold, be brave, be radical in pursuit of my purposes. Blaze a trail into uncharted territory with me as your guide. Every promise I have uttered over you will come to pass without fail. Not one word that has proceeded from my mouth will return void. My words will shape reality and alter destinies. Stand firm on the truth of Scripture until you behold its fulfillment with your eyes. When adversaries rise up to taunt you regarding your identity in me, do spiritual warfare with the sword of the Spirit which is my word. Resist the devil's efforts to kill, steal, and destroy. Clothe yourself in the full armor I supply you. Fortify your mind against his sly attacks. Take every thought captive and make it obedient to the knowledge of my will. Yield no ground to the enemy's schemes. Wage war with words of life and light and love. Set ambushes with praise that stop evil in its tracks. Worship your way through wilderness times. Make melody in your heart to me no matter the circumstance, for this releases angels to hearken heaven's help. I have stored up in heaven every tear you have shed. Not one is forgotten. I am working all things for your good, even when you cannot discern the working. Walk by faith, not sight. Hope will carry you through the darkest valley. The oil of gladness will replace your mourning. You are stronger now because of the battles you have faced weathered but not worn, bent but never broken. Scars mark where you have healed, tell of dangers averted, strength proven. You are a mighty warrior, tried and true. No weapon formed against you can prosper. Greater is he in you than he who is against you. Victory is assured as you don the armor I supply and wield the sword of truth which I have handed you. I will advance my kingdom together one soul at a time. No more will the enemy claim ground I purchased with my blood. I will take back stolen property and set captives free. Signs and wonders will follow you. The trophy of transformation will be on display in surrendered lives. Where you walk in the earth, heavenly realities manifest. As you speak my words, demons shudder and chains fall. Dry bones rattle and come to life when you call what is not yet seen into being by faith. The world will watch and wonder at what unfolds through your life. I will plunder hell to populate heaven. Such is your identity as my child. I have chosen you out of this world to display my glory in the earth. You have royal blood running through your veins. I call you my own dear one, my beloved. Allow my love to captivate you until it casts out all fear, until you see yourself the way I see you, clothed in my righteousness, seated in heavenly places at my side. Heaven stands ready to support all I have ordained for your life. Angel armies await your command to hearken help. Allow me to connect divinity with your humanity until they flow seamlessly as one river of power on the earth. Signs and wonders will follow you. The unseen realm will yield to your rule. Dream with me of all we can accomplish shoulder to shoulder. No longer limit your capacity to contain me. I will expand your character, enlarge your territory. Lift your gaze higher still. Your vision remains too small compared to all I have planned. 
you are destined for more. Through you I will display the wonders of my grace and glory to generations yet unborn. The fullness of time has come. All of creation awaits the unveiling of my mature sons and daughters who live and move as I do without limitation. Heaven through earthen vessels made manifest. These ones will perform greater works than even I modeled on the earth. They are led not by external law but internal life. My very spirit awakened and active within. Count yourself among this number, this chosen generation of history makers and destiny shifters. You are called and equipped to do the impossible, turn worlds upside down. Never again think small thoughts devoid of power. Speak my word and watch it accomplish, my designs, clear crooked paths. Call those things that are not yet seen into being by faith. Have I not said you would do these greater works? Believe it is so. Resist the temptation to compare and despair over what seems lacking in your life. Hold to my vision for you, not your own limited perspective. Your journey has held purpose in every struggle. Your story has been carefully crafted as a reflection of redemption's work in you. The fullness of joy will come in the morning. Weep no more. I am making all things new. I bless you with every provision pertaining to life and godliness. I speak open doors of favor and increase over you this day. Take hold of the exceedingly abundant life I give. The boundaries that hemmed others in will not hinder you. Launch out into the deep. Cast your nets in faith. I am expanding your reach. I am increasing your capacity. Walk in the confidence that you bear my image and carry my authority to manifest heaven on earth. Signs and wonders will increase as my glory is revealed upon you. The generations will call you blessed. Your children and your children's children will carry the deposit of anointing you walk in. Your legacy will be one of great joy. Your days of mourning are ended. Glory rises like the dawn over your life. You are a new day dreamer marked by my power and presence to transform. Never again will the night seasons hold sway. Each sunrise heralds promise fulfilled and vision expanded. Where you walk, dead men live, lost hopes are born again. Ruin is made whole. Beauty awakens in ashes. All things are made new. Be assured of this. The sun of my favor arises upon you with healing in its wings. No longer will shadows claim ground in your heart or home. The Lion of Judah is awakened within. My anointing rests upon you. My angels hearken to your cry. All of heaven's resources stand ready at your command. Arise, shine. Darkness flees at your approach. Night yields before the breaking day. Glory rises fresh with each new sunrise. There is light and life yet ahead. My child, I see you. I see your struggles, your pain, your despair. You feel trapped, stuck in circumstances not of your own choosing. The mistakes of your youth, the broken relationships, the poverty and lack, they weigh heavily on your spirit. Let me speak truth into your spirit this day. You are not defined by your past, nor are you disqualified from the glorious future I have prepared for you. Though enemies whisper lies that it's too late, I say it's never too late for my power to resurrect dead dreams and open up new doors of destiny. I know at times it's felt like you wandered far and made a mess too big for even me to redeem. Like the prodigal son focused on the pigsty and not the open arms of his father. But just as that father welcomed back his son with joy and restoration, I stand ready to welcome you. To cleanse, forgive and unleash purpose afresh. Don't believe the doubting voices within, nor the accuser without. I have made you an overcomer. Though the world doomed you to statistic and stereotype, I destined you for so much more. You were made in my image, crowned with glory and honor. So rise up, my child. Lift up your head and open your eyes to see past current circumstances into your bright future. Take hold of my strength and let me infuse your weary mind and body with zeal, vision and determination. 
I'm taking your mess and making it your message, your tragedy into your triumph. You see limitation, but I see opportunity. Every adversity carries seed for greater glory. Your pain cultivated compassion, your loss unlocked creativity, your lack built tenacity and trust in me. Had the road remained easy, your character complacent, you'd never have discovered the diamonds I embedded in your deepest wounds. Allow me now to extract them and bring them to the surface, to craft a crown of beauty from the ashes. Do not focus on what was or what is. The past is but a lesson, the present but a transit stop on the way to what shall be. Your best days await you. As you surrender control and follow, my lead into the unknown, expect adventure, purpose, and blessing to open up. For I make a way where you see no way. I open doors no man can shut. I silence the voices of impossibility with promise soaked in power. Take comfort, my child, for I go before you to direct your steps and prepare the way. Did I not carve sunshine and hope across the cavern of your heart? The cry of your spirit calls to me across time and space. I am coming quickly to guide you out of this valley and up to the summits I ordained for you long before foundations of the earth were laid. You shall no longer eat the crumbs from under enemy's table. I am setting a banqueting table for you in the presence of that same enemy. Sorrows will be forgotten, shame and reproach wiped away. For I predestined you as weapon and conduit of my glory. Yes, human eyes may see you struggling, but heavenly eyes see differently. They see what's coming to birth in the secret place. They see paradigm shifter and atmosphere changer carrying generational mantles of revival. Just because something starts small doesn't mean it must remain small. For now, the incubation continues. Allow frustration and despair no quarter. Cling to my declarations over you, not the project of enemies limiting labels. Warfare rages to abort my purpose in you, but already I have secured the victory. What I birth cannot be stillborn. The hour of your deliverance is here. Divine connections, resources, and angelic assistance are being dispatched as you read this. That long-blocked promise will burst forth suddenly. Expect dramatic turnarounds in finances, relationships, health, and family restoration too in this new era. For the tide has turned in your favor. The cliff edge is but one step away. Ready yourself to run when I say move. You've waited long enough. The training season lifts, new assignments come. It's time to target anything hindering your next level breakthrough. Together we will strategize strikes against internal mindsets holding you hostage to past pain. Limiting beliefs must burn. Toxic ties must be supernaturally severed. The cork of delayed purpose must pop. Get ready for explosive expansion, acceleration and compensation as my glory comes upon you. Finally, I want you to see it. That's always been the key difference between those who subdued kingdoms, worked righteousness and obtained promise versus those who did not. My generals dared embrace the reality of my kingdom within before they saw it manifest without. They held the future tense, speaking things that are not yet as though they already were. That tenacious hope unlocked heavenly help to transform invisible into tangible. I call you higher up, the mountain of revelation today, so that you might behold your land of promise. Set your gaze upon its vastness and lush terrain, hear its sounds, taste its flavors, and beckon its resources into the now. Decree, agree, align actions accordingly. Soon your promise vista will become actual experience, and you shall testify of this encounter that birthed holy anticipation in you. For I am the God who gives life to the dead and calls things that are not as though they already were. A table is set for you, a robe, a ring, authority, honor, and influence. Come, lost child found, wayward warrior restored. The party starts when the prodigals return. My precious child, I have planted a divine dream within your heart. A glorious vision and calling I willed for you before the foundations of the earth. But layers of hurt have buried it deep, 
dimming your sight. Trauma, unforgiveness, negativity. The enemy in this broken world have cast mud upon the stained glass window of your soul. But behold, I make all things new. I shall heal every wound, transform every scar into a jewel in your crown. Repent and welcome my cleansing floodwaters. Allow me to gently unwrap the layers, entombing your identity, vision, and calling. For what I have placed within you is irrevocable. Seeds awaiting their season of blooming by my design. Remember for what purpose I crafted you, the blueprint of your soul. There is a dream buried in your heart that evokes indestructible joy. A dream that defines the very depths of your being. A dream that in your most anguished nights still glimmers as a pinprick of light beckoning you home to my arms. Recovery of this dream shall be as finding treasure hidden in a field, like an exiled queen finally wearing her crown once more. I never said the road would be easy, dear one, but take my hand. Walk with trust, perseverance, and courage. For the places I lead you to often require traveling through difficult terrain first. The greater the adversity overcome, the sweeter the destination. In time, you will see purpose in every hardship along the pathway. For now, cling to my promises. I will turn every past pit into ladders of ascent. What others deemed liabilities, I declare assets. Your history shall fuel your destiny. I choose the foolish to shame the wise, the weak to shame the strong. Let it be done according to my wisdom, not man's. Do not accept the enemy's lies that you are disqualified. His taunts are but a temper tantrum raging against the threat you pose to his rule. Indeed, no weapon formed against you shall prosper, no curse prevail. On the contrary, you shall trample such sorcery beneath your feet victoriously as you march forward into my glory. Beloved, we cannot walk into the fullness of our shared destiny together if you insist on hiding your face. No more masks. Your beauty radiates most brilliantly in its authenticity. I shall free you from the abyss of mediocrity. The world mandates. Take my hand, I am lifting you out. Breathe rarefied air with me atop the summits of exceptional living I have prepared for you. For as I said, with man this is impossible. But I am the God of the impossible, made manifest for my faithful ones. As for those who wounded you, forgive them from a heart filled only with my love. Pray mercy upon their souls, that they be overtaken by my grace rather than judgment they deserve. Allow your life overflowing with my joy and peace to silence, slander, and convince naysayers of my sustaining goodness shining forth from you. You must learn the discipline of letting go. Grant them freedom through forgiveness. Leave justice and final outcomes in my hands alone. Here is where trust in me must eclipse your desire for vindication or payback. Lead the way toward reconciliation where possible while also establishing healthy boundaries against mistreatment. Leave no room for bitterness to take root. Fill that space instead with intercession that I capture their hearts with my loving kindness. Then watch and stand amazed as I transform enemies into friends, darkness into light. And dearest child, hear this resounding truth. You were made for so much more. Your current circumstance is but a seed in its burial your greatest fruit-bearing is yet to come. Like a patient gardener, I shall germinate your gifts in proper timing. I will cultivate you tenderly unto maturity through each unique season of training I prescribe specifically for you. Stay near me. Walk in step with my spirit. Together we will produce a bumper crop of righteousness. Yes, the road has been long. But lift your eyes from paths already traveled to the horizons ahead. Such wondrous vistas we will traverse hand in hand. Such glorious heights I will exalt you to in due time. For now I merely ask you to sit with me a while longer in these valleys of development. Though they are often obscured in fog and full of questions without quick answers. Endure this important season of foundation setting. Of establishing roots steadily downward that in time shall lift you upward. Lean on me during the turbulent storms. 
Learn to thrive as we journey uphill together, ever closer toward your home in my arms. Consider it joy when adverse winds blow, for through such resistance, your roots grow deeper, your wings stronger. The horizon's clearing awaits. Soon you shall mount up on wings as eagles, riding uplifting gusts meant to exalt you higher. You will soar with breathtaking freedom precisely because these seasons of hardship have strengthened your wings. Take heart. The vista I want you to see draws exponentially closer as you walk faithfully with me. Together we will reach that foreordained destination where you shall gaze out in awe over all I have prepared for you with an inheritance that cannot fade. On arrival you shall laugh with delight at long last. Dearly beloved, I have called you to a kingdom better by far than anything this fleeting world can offer. But to gain the higher, you must leave behind the lower. Therefore come away with me a while into the secret place. Set your mind on things above. Therein you will find the grace, empowerment, and divine vision you need for each day. Commune with me consistently, for apart from me your labors shall prove futile. How I long to fellowship with you, child. Seek me first and foremost. When you draw close to me face to face, you shall emerge shining ever brighter. Walk confidently into your God-given authority to forge new paths now opening to you. The enemy trembles at my called out ones finally embracing how I view and value them. His accusation shall crumble as you rise up in boldness. Every curse is summarily broken. His lies disintegrate in the blaze of my magnification of your identity. Fear not. Great explosions of creativity, influence, prosperity, and all-around blessing await manifestation through you. Go in power and confidence blotting out his kingdom as my light overtaking darkness across this earth. Shine bright and brighter still. Illumine every territory to which I send you as shrewd stewards expanding my kingdom. From your innermost being will flow endless rivers of my supernatural presence. Once you fully yield your finite being to the infinite source ever abiding within. Open the floodgates then, yes. Even through broken down levees and cracked foundations will I pour forth triumphantly. Be in awe at the force of my love breaking through, rejoicing at its downstream effects, bringing vibrant life everywhere it flows. You still only see in part compared to all I intend for harvest through your hands, but soon your eyes will adjust to the increasing luminosity I exude through your very pores. Just keep lingering in my presence. Keep following me in close step. My beloved one, now is your era to take hold of the steering wheel, to seize life by the helm rather than passively coasting in the back seat. Partner with me to drive confidently toward the undiscovered country I have promised you. Such mysterious joy awaits. Adventure round every corner. Milestones and vistas so very breathtaking. Yes, there will be unfamiliar terrain. Twists and turns we cannot yet foresee. But fear not, I know the way, I am the way. You may at times feel lost amidst the fog but my spirit shall be your compass, pointing true north. Indeed, today is the dawn of a new beginning. Forget the former things. The past is but a fading dream giving way to this emerging reality and brilliant technicolor. I am with you, down to the last detail, beloved one. No more need you second guess or contrive things by your might alone. For I am gathering every last dot and thread required for manifestation of your heart's desire, fully conformed to all I've placed within your inmost being. I shall connect each in proper sequence into the tapestry of your days. I make all things beautiful in my timing. A thousand years from today you shall still be marveling over how I sovereignly orchestrated everything for your good. Every tiny detail perfectly prepared beforehand to arrange divine connections leading you deeper into true kingdom purpose and abundance. For now, keep following my spirit, one footfall after another along the path appointed for you. Keep leaning into me until my heartbeat becomes your anthem. I shall speak through your every breath, 
No longer will you roam about and listen for fragmented solutions here and there. No longer will you scavenge in isolation for direction through a disconnected labyrinth of human ideas. All you need is found in me. I shall be your sole teacher, comforter, guide. Take my hand fully, cling tightly in the tempest. Soon you shall behold firsthand the glorious destination I have been leading you to since before day one. Just a little while longer, beloved. Our joy will be sweeter for having walked together through the valley mist first. Here is where iron sharpens iron. Where you are reshaped into an arrowhead perfectly fashioned for maximum impact according to my strategic will for your life. Soon you will emerge victorious. But for now, listen for my voice calling you to higher places by the pathways least expected. You have all you need for the journeying. Soon you will see for yourself how your story ends. From ashes to immense beauty.